This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, the bad actors are doubling down on their GME naked short positions. The only reason I believe they're doing that is because they have no way out. Do you guys think that retail investors decided to sell off their GME shares yesterday? Do any of you guys think that GME retail investors woke up in the pre-market and decided to sell off their GME shares? Let me tell you guys something, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME. Most GME investors are unsophisticated investors, okay? We don't have all the insight and the knowledge that these smart money have, but we know if a company's sitting on $4.3 billion in cash, and the CEO of that company turned Chewy into a billion dollar company. We know maybe, maybe, maybe we should hold on to these shares a little bit longer to see what he's going to do. In my opinion, when you see the price of GME dropping, it's not cause retail investors are selling. Retail investors aren't moving enough shares to move the market like that. This is the bad actors in the dog pools engaging in criminal behavior. And the SEC knows what they're doing. The DOJ knows what they're doing. The FBI knows what they're doing. And they do absolutely nothing about it. I mean, at this point, in my opinion, the evidence of fraud and corruption in the play is overwhelming. And the thing is, they wish they could get out. They want to get out, but they can't. They, they are trapped in the position because the minute they start to close, GME starts running and they will be running to bankruptcy court or to their buddies in Congress to help them out. Or maybe maybe they might even get FINRA to, to delist the stock like they did with MMTLP. Listen. GME is being attacked by the naked shorters because they are trapped in the GME play and they don't have an exit plan. They don't even have a potential bankruptcy bankruptcy exit plan because GME is sitting on so much money. Anyway, here are the GME numbers. You know these numbers mean absolutely nothing. You, they're claiming the volume was 16,730,346. Of course, they're still claiming 26.78% of the shares with DRS. You guys know I believe it's a lot higher. 41.4% um, of the volume was shorted shares. So somehow they found 7 million new GME shares to short into the market. Will they ever show us where those shares originated from? who they borrowed them from, and the person they borrowed them from, where did they get them from? I mean, very simple chain of custody type investigations that take about five minutes. But, of course, the SEC is not going to do it. The DOJ is not going to do it. The FBI is not going to do it. And you know why? Because then they'd be forced to do their job and enforce the rules of the market. And who wants to do their job? I mean, who doesn't want to show up at work and just collect a check every two weeks and do absolutely nothing and then get bonuses from your buddies in private industry? <laughs> anyway, they're also claiming 2.33 days to cover. So they're claiming after adding a new 7 million GME short positions they, that they can cover all their GME short positions in 2.33 trading days. I mean, when they put out these numbers, they really, really do believe we're dumb money. They really think that we don't have basic analytical skills with this nonsense, okay? They really think we don't have basic analytical skills when they try to get us to accept this, these ridiculous days to cover numbers that make absolutely no sense fundamentally, logically. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. And of course, they're claiming the short interest is only 13.35%. That's a lie. Well, 
I believe it's a lie. I believe it's a lie. It makes absolutely no sense to me based on everything else I'm seeing in the market. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think you can just keep adding more shares every day and then cover, cover those shares in less time? I mean, it's absolutely crazy what they want us to believe. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.